Yes, we shall overcome. We must overcome. Well, God bless every one of you. Yes, we must overcome. How is that? How is that to be done? The power of God. And after that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. You shall receive power. Oh, this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith, our faith which cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, which is sent by the Holy Ghost. Jesus commanded his first apostles, his first disciples, go and tarry, wait until you be endued with power. Oh yes. Even during the time of the first spreading of the gospel, the apostle Peter was sent to a Gentile home, opening up in his mind that God had received the Gentiles. Oh yes. Cornelius, a Roman centurion, was visited by the Spirit of God because he himself was seeking the Lord. He was faithful in his prayer to the true and the living God. Of course, if he had been discovered, it's a possibility that he would have been crucified, but God protected Cornelius and sent Peter to him, to his home. After getting there, we want to look at this account in the scriptures where Cornelius said, After the visitation came, he said, Immediately, therefore, I sent to thee, and thou hast well done that thou art come. Skipping down to the 34th verse of Acts, the 10th chapter, Peter remarks, Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is of no respect of persons, but in every nation he that feareth God and work of righteousness is accepted with him. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. That word I say, you know, which we published throughout all Judea, and began with Galilee after the baptism which John preached. Look at what happened. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all of those that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. And we are witnesses of all things which he did both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, whom they slew and hanged on a tree. How God raised up 
the third day and showed him openly. I want to skip down. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter, because that in on the Gentiles who were poured out, who was, I'm sorry, who was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now we want to be very mindful here to see how they knew that the gift of the Holy Ghost had been poured about, poured out rather upon those that were with Cornelius, who was a Roman, a Gentile, and those that were with him were primarily Gentiles. The 46th verse of Acts, the 10th chapter says, For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Yes, oh, hallelujah. Then answered Peter, Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. In other words, they had the same sign. They had the same response. They had the same action and activity. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then prayed they him to tarry certain days. And Peter did that. Isn't it wonderful that God is without respect of persons? As we are looking forward to the soon coming of Jesus Christ for the church, there is one grand need. The power of God is needed the more now. How do we get more power? We go to God. We ask God. Give me more power. Fill me the more with your power. Endow me the more with your power. And then sometimes what do we do? We wait in his presence. We praise him for the victory. Yes, we tarry. Ah, wait until the power falls on us and in us and inevitably through us. That's the word of the Lord today. Yes, we must have a visitation. It must happen again. We must have revival in this nation of the power of God. And even so, it is happening. God is moving the more and the more. There's momentum. And as we go on, amen, we're able to shout and say, Hallelujah. Well, God bless you, saints. Amen. Come back again. Yes. For another inspirational word by the Spirit of God through his vessel, Apostle Gene Morris, concerning this day of dynamos. <laughs>